They say one's man's trash is another man's treasure. We're gonna talk with one local business owner about the rise in popularity of the trash to treasure business right here in the DC region. Well, many businesses have taken a significant hit during the pandemic, during this whole crisis. Some are out there that are actually thriving. That includes a new Virginia-based business that's uh, turning trash into treasure. It's called Remix Market, and it takes items that people have thrown out to declutter and they are upcycling those uh, items for resale. And joining us this morning to talk all about it, Mark Harrington, who is the CEO of Remix Market. Good morning to you, Mark. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. Uh, so let's talk about your business. First of all, how did you come up with this, this, this concept? Well, actually, I, uh, I did business development for an IT firm for 20 years and, and took a couple years off and was just looking for something else to do. And uh, never in, the, in a million years I think I'd be doing junk luggers and remix market. But after looking at the business model, it just seemed to make sense. It fit my, my background, which is business development and networking, relationship building. And actually really love the concept of remix, where we're taking things from a job that we do junk removal and bring it back to remix and upcycle it. So we save it from the landfill, we give it a new life, and it, it uh, carries on with a new family, the items that we bring back here. All right, so how does it work? Does someone call you and say, hey, I'm about to clean out my fill in the blank room and then you come and pick up the stuff is that how it works absolutely so you know if, if they place a phone call to us the guys come out two professional guys collared shirts looking nice <laughs> pull up in the truck and they'll re remove just about anything um the, the folks just need to tell us what to remove and we'll bring it back here to remix what happens with a lot of uh, junk companies is they try to donate it to a traditional donation center goodwill salvation army something to that effect if the item has a scratch, a stain, you know, wobbly leg, it's, it's missing, missing something, they won't accept it. So it becomes very tough to donate. So Remix was really born out of a need. Uh, mm. We found that if we couldn't accept things, unfortunately, sometimes you would have to go to the landfill. So we opened Remix where we bring everything back here. We upcycle it, which is turning something into something different, something of little or no value, increasing the value of that item. Uh, we repurpose things. We recycle things. We sell things. The beautiful part of that is a portion of all proceeds are donated to our charity, Mikey's Way Foundation and Inova Children's Hospital. Um, and it really keeps everything out of the landfill. We just, the only time we go there is when we truly have trash. So it's a service for the client. They feel good that their items have another life with another family. All right. So is there anything that you won't take from a home? I know you won't, you know, trash is trash, but is there anything that might be questionable that you you might not take like we've if it's been, in really bad shape in certain situations to remove a spouse and that's very difficult <laughs> uh, you can't do that but other than that um hazardous material uh chemicals oil gasoline that kind of stuff but uh we can take just about anything is there anything you know during this whole what's the weirdest thing you you've seen that we've seen yes uh really goes back to the the husband and wife there are many times the guys go into the home and one of the, the spouses wants something removed, the other one doesn't. So really with these, with these hoarders or, or people that have trouble letting go, there are some arguments. I had one gentleman working for me, a big guy could work for the, uh, could be a linebacker for the skins. And um, this little old lady came up and, and pushed him in the chest and said, you're not taking my stuff. So um, <laughs> the guys had to step out and go to the truck, let the, let the couple work it out, and then eventually we came back in. So we got into some unique situations. All right. So if people want to get in touch with you and they want to have you come and uh, do a pickup, what do they need to do? They need to call 1-800-LUG-JUNK. And if they want to see Remix Market, they can go to Remix Market Warrants and on Facebook. All right. Well, well, thank you. We appreciate your, your time this morning. We, we did put that information up on, on the screen. It's, it's actually a pretty good idea. I might have to give you guys a call. Now, do you go anywhere? Will you come to your, the Maryland, D.C., anywhere? Yeah, we, we go to all Northern Virginia. We've been to parts of Maryland and parts of D.C. There are some limitations, but for yeah. the most part, we'll go just about anywhere. We're based in Warrington. Uh, we service a lot in Gainesville, but we'll travel all through Northern Virginia, Maryland, and D.C. All right. Okay. Well, Mark, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. You have a fabulous day. You do the same. Thank you. All right. What a cool business.